All right, guys, so before I begin this video of more to my Android device, just give this video a thumbs up. It did take a long time to make, okay? So just go show the love and I will be making more videos in the future. Just hit that thumbs up button, please. This is my Android phone. And I would like to share with you every single modification that I have created on this device. So without any further ado, let's begin this video. So last year I had a very well designed layout and great minimalistic look on my Note 2. But this year I have a completely different layout and which a lot of people find to be very appealing. And now I will show you how to make your phone look like mine. But in order to do this you will need to download the how to min setup file version 2.0 the link is in the description and I have also provided a mirror link just in case the file gets corrupted and that way it stops working. Make sure to place the file on your phone's internal or external storage and I will be showing you how to use it. This will give you all my widgets, applications, music, and some of my favorite wallpapers and much more. You will also need to install the following applications which are Zuper Widget, it's free in the Google Play Store, Apex Launcher, it's free as well, Amazing Text, it's free. Muse Live Wallpaper, it's free. Big white minimal icons and tiny white icons, both free in the Google Play Store. And minimal icons, which is $1.49 in the Google Play Store. All of those links will be in the description as well so you don't get lost. First off, we have my phone. My day-to-day -day driver is the LG Nexus 5 serviced by T-Mobile. I also have a glass screen protector by the company called Mime, which costs around $25. But it feels like you don't even have a screen protector in the first place. My device is also rooted, running a custom ROM called Maddie ROM with Android 4.4.4 and a custom kernel called Franco kernel, which seems to be one of the best kernels out for my device. My launcher. First off, I have always been using Apex Launcher as my home screen since the beginning I had my phone. It is fast, smooth, and it allows me to mix each theme up that I download from the Google Play Store. If you want to make your Apex home screen look like mine, Make sure you make the same adjustments to the settings as I did. Alright guys, in order to get your home screen to look like mine, you have to make the same modifications that I did on my Apex settings. So first up, we have home screen settings. We're going to go right in here. You can see portrait grid. You're going to have 7x6. You can make it 8x7 if your device is just way too big. Landscape grid, you're not going to really need that because you're never going to go landscape mode on your device. It just won't let you because for some reason, it just won't let me. Horizontal margin, you're going to have at medium, as well as vertical margin, medium as well. Icon scale, leave it at 100. You're going to manage your screens, you're going to make sure there's three. You can have five, that's an option as well. I like to have three because I don't like to have that many screens. Going back in here, you're going to go to minimal scroll time, I have zero. Transition effect, you're going to have none because, you know, you want that Android L transition effect. You're going to have show wallpaper, show indicator, you're going to have that at dot. Gonna go down here you're gonna have use tablet ui mode that's very important check that on check transparent notification bar search bar style i have it at kitkat you can choose that as well you can choose to hide shadows and hide icon labels if you want to have it like mine that's pretty much it nothing else going in here you're gonna go to drawer settings the background transparency you're gonna have it at zero so that way you won't have any background usually the background is black but i want to have a transparency so i can see the my wallpaper Fly in and out, that's the animation. The grid, the portrait grid should be five by six. If it looks weird and it looks weird on five by six and change it to uh, your likings, maybe six by seven or four by five, doesn't really matter, mine's five by six. Um, horizontal margin, you're gonna have none. Icon scale, 100. Infinite scrolling, I have that on. No transition effect. You're gonna have regular, regular tabs and you're going to show the indicator i have mine online you can choose whatever and you have fade indicator that's an option all right that's pretty much it going into dock settings right here you're just going to have a horizontal margin on on small on small again on vertical margin going down here you're going to have infinite scrolling minimum time scrolling you don't need that and the indicator you really need that because i only use one i only use one number of docks i don't want too many you can choose two if you want to. That's an option. And we're going to go straight down to theme settings. Like I said before, you do need this application, but I have for the default theme, I have a, for the default theme, I have the skin 
okay, and the font, that's the default theme. Going in here for the minimal, you're gonna choose icon pack, so you're gonna apply the icon pack right there. I accidentally chose the wallpaper on my bad. Okay, I'll change it back. But for now, just choose icon pack for minimal. Advanced settings, we're gonna go in here. You're gonna have the hot word detection on. The icon size, 90%. Icon text size, you're gonna have it 80%. So that is all what you need for your Apex Launcher settings. Now you basically have what I have, okay? Basically, this is what you should get. You should have everything I have. So yeah, there are my Apex settings. Icons. For my icons, I use three different icon packs to fit my entire theme. So I already hinted that I use minimal icons for my drawer icons because the icon packs make every single application look more minimalistic, flatter, and colorful. Almost every icon is themed, and if any application isn't themed, you still won't be able to tell the difference because it fits right in. Even though it's $1.49, it has over 2,000 themed icons, and the developer is always ready to update each icon so it looks beautiful. In my home screen, I use two different icon packs which are both free and look similar. The tiny icons are the icon pack called Tiny White Icon Pack, and the way I theme each one is I just place an application in the home screen, I long press it till a screen menu pops up, then I select Edit, I tap on the picture, select from Icon Packs, Tiny White Icon Pack, and from there I found the application or the icon that matched the application, and then I pressed OK. I did that for every single application and organized them into a 3x4 rectangle in the home screen just below my clock widget and my dock. If you want to know each application that I themed with tiny white icons, I included the name in the how to setup file under home screen, screen 1, and then application. Now for the icons on the dock, I am using the icon pack called big white icons because I enjoy having my top priority applications just a bit bigger than my secondary choice applications. Plus, since it's on the dock, they will always be available, no matter what screen I switch to. In the how to min setup file, I also included the names of the applications that I have on the dock under home screen and then dock. Wallpaper. Now in the how to min setup file, I have included my top 10 most favorite wallpapers that I have ever used since the beginning of 2014. You may have seen some of these on my Andrew Techman channel, but nonetheless these are all in HD and will look gorgeous on any display. I also wanted to mention that I use a wallpaper called Muse, free in the Google Play Store which rotates through my favorite photos on my home screen every few hours. So if you want, you can place all of the wallpapers in the how-to min setup file onto Muse and it will rotate through every single photo at any given time ratio. This will also blur and dim your wallpaper so that all of your icons and widget can stand out and if you double tap the wallpaper, it will unblur and undim the wallpaper. Widgets. I only use 3 widgets on my home screen because too many widgets can cluster up the free space and can drain the battery. So I have decided that these are the widgets that I am going to use and that I need the most. First off, I have my clock widget, which a lot of people have asked me how to get. It also displays the time, the date, and the battery percentage as well as a green bar for decorating purposes. If you want this clock widget, I have provided the file in the how to min setup file in a super widget format so you can apply it easily. Just go to your home screen, place a 4x2 Zuper widget on the screen preferred, then tap on it, choose SD card, and if the how to min setup file is placed on your phone's memory, the clock widget should be displayed, which you can choose, and then you can choose to go to the home screen, and it should be displayed there as well. Now you can resize it to whatever you want, and place it wherever you prefer. I prefer to have it just above my tiny white icons in my main screen. On the far most left screen, I have the word how to min displayed as a widget. You can make this widget display whatever word you want, with whatever font, style, or texture you want it to be displayed as. To have this, you will need an application called Amazing Text. With this, you can enter whatever text you want, you can edit the font settings and add different effects, try it out for yourself, and get the Amazing Text Fonts Pack to get more fonts as well. And finally, the last widget that I used is the Apollo widget, which is my favorite music player and is pretty well known because of CyanogenMod. In the how to min setup file, I have provided the APK for you to download the application Apollo onto your phone, which requires no root at all. And another thing that I provided with you is all of my music. Now don't worry, it's not every single mp3 included in the file because that would just make the file size way too big. But instead, I have screen recorded all of my songs so that you can see what I listen to and maybe download a couple songs onto your phone as well. So you're welcome. 
theme. Now moving on to the theme that I have installed on my phone. First off, in order to have this next feature on your phone, you will need to have Cyanogenmod theme on your device. The only way you can have this feature is if your ROM supports it. So if you have Cyanogenmod, Paranoid Android, Mad ROM, or any other ROM that supports this feature, it will work. This also means you need root. So if you don't even have root, then I suggest to skip ahead. But basically the theme that I have installed on my phone is called View. Now this is $3.25 in the Google Play Store, but it's the best theme I have ever used by far. First off, this is the closest you're going to get to that follows material design guidelines. The overall theme follows a red and black design, and every toggle, switch, box, and window is flat, minimalistic, and has no shadows. It looks absolutely gorgeous. My favorite design from this whole theme would have to be the lock screen, because the lock button looks so clean and simple, when I unlock it I can tell how much work the developer of this theme has gone through. The keyboard is also themed, as well as a notification, the quick settings, the navigation buttons, the status bar, and all the small things as well. I will make a full review on this application soon and how I got the status bar to make every application that I open fit as well with the theme, so stay tuned for that. Applications For all of my applications, you can find them in the How To Min Setup file under Applications. I took a screenshot of my entire drawer with every application in there, and I have also included my favorite applications that I enjoy using if you want to check that out as well. About Us And one more little object that I thought would go along with the file is I included a About Us folder and in this folder you will find all sorts of facts about our channel and some fun facts to get to know us a little better. So check that out if you get the chance. So that is it for my Android phone guys. I have shown you practically everything on my Android device except personal information. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to share this video on any social media page. I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!